Speech off. What's up everyone, the Tech Piano Player Kid here. And in this video, there's some couple things I'd like to see again on YouTube. A. Oh, okay. Things that are, okay, let me rephrase that. Things that are here, but that requirements are, there's not as st strict, I guess. And those are two of them. A, mobile live stream, and B, the community tab. Now, I think the community tab has been, um, has been implemented to have at least 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers. Now, the mobile live stream has probably not been that long. You have to have at least 1,000 subscribers, which I think is ridiculous, in my opinion, because for those of us who have smaller channels, like myself, I think the requirement should, should be at least 100 subscribers. Because, you know, if I want to do a mobile live stream, <clears throat> you know, and you know, have people ask questions why I'm doing it, I'd like to do that. Because there's just some things that, you know, we want to do. And yes, I know there's the option to do it from the computer, but what if you want to walk around? You know, because I use a Mac and I use Safari. And apparently Safari is not very usable with live streaming because for some reason it doesn't meet with requirements for the... I do have a webcam, but it doesn't want to work. So my point is, A, make live streaming compatible with Safari. B, make live stream, maybe make mobile live streaming back to the, a requirement that's lower than 1,000, maybe like 100 or 115. And C, make the community tab maybe a little bit lower, maybe like 500 or maybe 200. I don't know, just something that's, you know, not as strict or whatever. Because I tried using, now for those of you who are, sorry guys, I'm, I have an itch. Um, for those of you who are, have um, used screen, screen readers for the Mac and have live streamed, I wonder how you can just do it, you know, because I've used, try to use Firefox and Google Chrome and it doesn't seem to work very well because, you know, I'm not used, I've never been, I've never used Google Chrome or Firefox on the Mac. I've used Safari most of the time. And I've heard you can use OBS, but I don't know how accessible OBS is with voiceover to live stream and read comments. Oh, excuse me. And for those of you who do not know what OBS is, OBS is Open Broadcast Studio. It's just another way you can live stream and do some other stuff like that. I haven't tried it. Um, I have it downloaded, but I've never used it because I tried using it and then it was too difficult to use because it was not really accessible. So, for those of you who have a way of doing this, how many of you guys, first of all, would like to have mobile live stream back for those who are who have less than 1,000 subscribers like myself? I would. The same thing with the community tab. Maybe have it less than 2,000, maybe 500, or maybe 200. So, that's just me. So, that's just some things I'd like to see. And also about the kids' private, the kids' protection thing, whatever it was called. You know, I've seen some. I haven't. I've heard some people are a little frustrated with that. Okay, look, I understand where everyone's coming from with that, but you have to think. You know, first of all, I love kids. I I, I love them, and you know, I don't want. Any kid to get hurt, you know. I, I, you know, when, I, when I, I don't like, I do not like kids getting hurt, mentally or physically. Also, I'm actually thinking, thinking becoming a, uh, of becoming a fifth grade, well, okay, elementary slash middle school uh, teacher, possibly fifth through eighth grade, maybe fourth through eighth grade, somewhere around there, maybe third. I don't know, for a technology teacher for the visually impaired and blind, um, because I want to. Because you know, a lot of people were like, you should be a technology teacher or you should be a teacher because you'd be really good at this. You know, I've helped people a lot with their 
with their iPhones, with their note takers, like their Brownout Touches and the Brownout Touch Plus, Plus, which speaking of which, I'm actually getting the upgrade. Um, I'm in the process of making the video. Um, and once I have it all done, I will make a upload of that. And so for, you have seen the YouTube video of, um, oh, no, yeah, yeah I, think, I think you've seen the YouTube video of the Brownout Touch itself. And then I will uh, show you what it looks like now. Once I get the new brown note touch, that is. <laughs> um, and the YouTube, ki the, 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 the privacy policy with the FTC, Federal, tra uh, Federal Trans Mission Communi I forget what that is. Alexa, what does FTC stand for? Federal Trade Commission. Okay, I knew it was commission. It's gonna be Federal Trade Commission. That's FTC. Where now people think it's YouTube. I don't think it's. I, in my opinion, the way I'm looking at this, it's not YouTube. It's. I think part of it's the FTC, which I can see where they're coming from. They want to protect the kids, and trust me, I have to say with this, I. Okay, I agree with them. But I guess my point is that. Maybe, I don't know, like, okay, like, when they say, is your YouTube made for kids, are they saying for kids to understand, or is it more like, because I see the age restriction, which means, you know, people over 18, meaning 18 or over, meaning if you have curse words and stuff like that, which my videos are not age restricted. Um, now, most of my videos are probably not for kids, because... The stuff I talk about, like, you know, the technology and the piano tutorials are probably a little too advanced. Unless someone changes, unless someone mentions in the comments, which please do, and says, no, I think your videos, you know, will be good for kids. But I don't know if that means they'll show up on kids' YouTube, uh, kids YouTube um, um, on, on, on the kids' YouTube app, or does it mean like it'll show up between kids' videos? Anyway, um, but yeah, what do you guys think about the, getting the mobile live stream back to a lower requirement, like at least 100 subscribers and the, the community tab with 500? Because I would like to have a way to com communicate more with my audience, with my subscribers and everything. And speaking of which, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications. Because, you know, I <clears throat> would like to have people ask questions and all that. And, you know, I have an email. I have a Twitter account to people ask me questions. And I always say in my end of my, end of my videos, maybe I should say at the beginning as well, that don't be afraid to ask questions. And, guys, if you're nervous that you could offend me, if you're nervous you could offend me, okay, I don't get offended easily. Like, if someone asks me a question, like, you know, oh, how did you become blind? Or what's it like to be blind? Or what kind of obstacles do you have, you know, being blind? You know, like, what do you, what do, you do? This happens or this happens. Guys, these questions I've been asked many, 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 many times. Many times. And people, people ask me the same thing. They're like, I don't want to offend you. I'm like, dude, if you're going to offend me, I'll tell you. I don't you know, flip out and go all crazy kid mode and go, like, throwing stuff around. No, I don't do that. If I get offended, I'm like, hey, look, you know, what you said really hurt me and that offended me and that made me upset. You know, I, I try to tell that to him calmly and direct, I guess is the word. You know, I don't, I, I won't yell at them. You know, people are curious, you know, you know, they want to know more about, you, you know, it's just how it is. And, you know, there's many things, you know, people think, oh, you could, you know, the, the, trust me, guys, there are people, and this is really sad, actually, if you think, if you think about it, there are people out there. Now, I haven't met anyone, but I have heard there are people out there who say, oh, he's blind. Oh, he can't do anything. He's just poor and, you know, 
poor and he can't do anything in for himself. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean I haven't heard, I haven't no one said that to me, but oh yeah, I've I've heard it happen. Oh yeah. And you probably are staring at the screen right now and you're like, what? And somebody may be like, yeah, I can see that. Either way, blind people can do as much as anything as sighted people can. They may have to do it differently. Like, I play the piano. And people are like, how do you do that? I'm like, well, you play piano, right? You know, the, the, let's say they do like, yeah. I'm like, well, you don't look at your hands while you're playing, do you? And they get... You know, if I answer that way, they probably get really quiet because you don't look at your hands while you're playing. <laughs> your body memorizes how far to jump or how to, how my piano teacher calls it, pop your arm. Yes, you use your arm to play. You don't, and you actually play from your back too, but that's from a different video. Um, when you play, you know. The stuff I play, I don't have time to figure out where the keys are. My body just, you know, memorizes where the keys are and which key to play. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so how many of you think that we should get this community tab or the, 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 the live stream back to a lower requirement? Because before it didn't have a requirement, but now you do. Why not change it to 115 or 100? Because I like to get mobile live stream again. Again, because... You know, I want people to ask me questions. I want people to, you know, give me, you know, comments, uh, questions, uh, suggestions, whatever. You know, just anything. So, yeah, what do you guys think about that? You know, what do you think the requirements should be for the community tab line and the mobile live stream? I think the mobile live stream should be at least 100 or 115. The community tab may be close to maybe around two to 500, somewhere in that range. So guys, if you have any questions, um, comments, whatever, put them down below. And also subscribe and turn my post notifications on my channel. Excuse me. And also follow my Twitter, tech underscore piano. And that would be under the tech piano player kid. Uh, same thing as my YouTube channel name, once you find the tech underscore piano. And then also you can email me, email me the tech piano player kid at gmail.com. It's the same as my YouTube channel name. And just after that, it's at gmail.com. So God bless and peace. And I'll see you all later in the next video. The tech piano player kid is out.